Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a fascinating phenomenon that has intrigued researchers and the general public for centuries. While it might sound like something out of a mystery novel, sleepwalking is a real condition that affects a significant number of people. Here are 10 facts about sleepwalking that might surprise you. 1. Sleepwalking is more common than you think. Sleepwalking is more prevalent than many realize, with an estimated 1 in 10 people experiencing an episode at some point in their lives. While it is most common in children, especially those between the ages of 4 and 8, adults can also experience sleepwalking episodes, though it's less frequent in adulthood. 2. Sleepwalking occurs during the deep stages of sleep. Contrary to what you might expect, sleepwalking occurs during the deep, non-REM, rapid eye movement stages of sleep, particularly in the first third of the night. During these stages, the body is in a very relaxed state, while the brain remains in a less conscious, more active state that can lead to involuntary movements. 3. Sleepwalkers have their eyes open. While sleepwalkers may appear awake, their eyes are open but their brains are still in a sleep state. This explains why sleepwalkers can often navigate their surroundings and perform complex tasks, yet they are unaware of their actions and often don't remember the experience when they wake up. 4. Sleepwalking can be triggered by stress. While sleepwalking can occur without any obvious cause, it is often triggered by factors such as stress, sleep deprivation, fever, or even certain medications. Life changes, such as a new job, school stress, or family problems, may contribute to a greater likelihood of sleepwalking episodes. 5. Sleepwalking can involve complex activities. During a sleepwalking episode, a person may engage in activities that are surprisingly complex. Some people may get up and walk around, open doors, or even perform household chores like cooking, eating, or using the bathroom. In more extreme cases, sleepwalkers may leave their homes or drive, putting themselves at risk. 6. Sleepwalking is not the same as talking in your sleep. While both sleepwalking and sleep talking occur during the sleep cycle, they are different phenomena. Sleepwalking involves physical movements, such as walking, sitting up in bed, or even interacting with objects, while sleep talking usually involves vocalizations or speech, which may or may not make sense. 7. It's more common in children than adults. Sleepwalking is far more common in children, especially between the ages of 4 and 8. It's estimated that around 15% of children experience sleepwalking at least once, compared to only about 2 to 3% of adults. As children grow older, they often outgrow sleepwalking, though some may continue to experience it into adulthood. 8. It can run in families. There is evidence to suggest that sleepwalking can run in families. If a parent is a sleepwalker, their children may be more likely to experience sleepwalking episodes as well. Genetic factors appear to play a role, though the exact mechanisms are still not fully understood. 9. Sleepwalking can be dangerous. Although sleepwalking is usually harmless, it can be dangerous if the person walks into hazardous situations, such as climbing stairs, leaving the house, or getting into a vehicle. In extreme cases, sleepwalkers have been known to injure themselves or others. For this reason, it's important to create a safe environment for sleepwalkers to reduce the risks. 10. Treatment is available. In many cases, sleepwalking doesn't require medical treatment and may resolve on its own. However, if episodes are frequent or dangerous, treatment options are available. These may include therapy to address underlying causes like stress, lifestyle changes to improve sleep hygiene, or medication in extreme cases. Consulting with a healthcare professional is recommended if sleepwalking becomes a persistent problem. Sleepwalking remains an intriguing and somewhat mysterious condition. While it's often benign and short-lived, its potential for danger means it's important to be aware of the signs and take steps to ensure safety. If you or someone you know is prone to sleepwalking, understanding the condition and making a few simple adjustments can help ensure that everyone sleeps soundly and safely.